you're watching JD's Variety Channel. Hello everyone and welcome to this coin tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to check for pennies that are worth anywhere from $50,000 up to a potential 1.7 million which one of these sold at auction. But before I get to the main story I'm going to give a little bit of a backstory on what our coins are made out of today. So here is a beautiful shiny 2016 penny, a shield back design. Now these pennies even though they look beautiful when they're minted they are 97 and a half percent zinc with a two and a half percent layer of copper over the top of them. So after they're uh, battered around for a while or exposed to air or uh, in the case of metal detecting um, you know been under the ground for a while they just deteriorate. So for this video I grabbed a couple from my metal detecting bin to show you what they look like after they've been in the ground for a little while. They literally just fall apart. But prior to 1982, and some of them in 1982, as I said, it was a transition year, the whole way back from, from 1982, the whole way back to 1909, except for one year, which I'll explain in a moment, the US pennies were made out of predominantly copper, 95% to be exact. So here's the look. Here's a look at a wheat penny that was pulled from circulation in nice condition. It's a little bit worn, but it's got a nice color to it. Just a beautiful coin. 1938 wheat penny that is 95% copper. Now here is a penny, a wheat penny that I found metal detecting that is 95% copper. And you can see it's in a little bit rough shape, but it's not too bad. Um, but in comparison to those, you can, I think we could all agree that it still looks a lot better. So that's just an idea to show you um, how our pennies have been for a, around the last hundred years. Now, other than from 1909 up until 1982 of the ones being made copper, there, were one, there was one year where pennies were made out of steel. That's right, I said steel. In 1943, the government needed copper for the war, so the United States Mint made the U.S. pennies out of steel with just a thin layer of zinc over top of them, but they are 99% steel. And you can see here I got a 1943 with no mint mark, which means it was minted in Philadelphia, one from Denver, which you can see the D, and one from San Francisco. You can kind of see the S under there. I showed a few in different uh, conditions, so you can see how they deteriorate over time. Now, where the big money comes in is if you can find one of these 1943 pennies that was not made of steel and that was made of the copper, they were worth a lot of money because they were accidentally produced. There were, if you have a coin like this, before it was stamped, it would just be basically a blank round piece of copper, which is called a planchet. So some of those planchets ended up in where the steel pennies were supposed to be struck. So there are 1943 pennies that are made out of copper, and there are some that came out of every mint from the Philadelphia, the Denver, and San Francisco. Now, I'm gonna show you the main way to check if yours is real or not. Now, this is not foolproof, but it gives you a good idea of whether you have one that is an obvious fake or not because anyone could take one of these 1943 pennies you know plate it in copper and boom you're a million millionaire not that easy um, because you would have to have it authenticated anyway but basically the main reasoning is that the steel pennies are going to stick to a magnet and the copper pennies are not so if you have a 1943 penny that is made out of copper and it doesn't stick to a magnet, you could be into a lot of money. So I'm going to show you an example here. This is the 1938 wheat penny I was showing you that is predominantly copper. You can see they do not stick to a magnet. That's the one I found metal detecting. Also, by the way, the zinc ones don't stick to a magnet either. Now, over to the steel pennies. Pick one right out of the middle here. Boom. Sticks right to the magnet. No effort whatsoever. Even that small magnet can pick up a couple of them. 
So there's a lot of people that make fake ones, but they're made out of steel underneath. So if it sticks to a magnet, it's, it's definitely fake if it's, you know, somebody that tried to uh, plate one of these in copper. Now, here was something that was pretty interesting. Out metal detecting, I found a large spill of old coins all in one hole. And you can see all of them here. I have a variety of wheat pennies. I found this beautiful silver mercury dime in the hole, along with a buffalo nickel, some old Jefferson nickels, and this was all in one hole. I'm guessing they had fallen out of somebody's pocket, or maybe they were even buried. Who knows? But one of the things I pulled out of the hole was this right here. When I saw it compared to all the other pennies, I was really surprised, and I knew almost right away that this was going to be a steel penny. And it was uh, kind of dumb luck that I found it with all these other coins because normally um, I wouldn't find a steel penny with a metal detector because I discriminate steel out. So here's we're going to test it right now to find out if it is indeed a steel penny. And if it is, that's what it would look like had it been in the ground. This has been in the ground since around World War II. And here is one that is next to one that is almost brand new. So you can tell how they just, it's completely trashed. So anyway, all the other pennies I found, you take the magnet over them, and they don't stick. And then that one penny I found, boom. It's a 1943 Steel Time War Scent. I never tried to clean it up because I didn't want it to fall apart more, but maybe I'll get it under some water and see if it cleans up even just a little bit. But there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. A little tutorial on how to check for some valuable coins and a little bit of uh, background on what has happened to the R pennies over the last hundred years. So thanks for watching and take care.